My name's Lil Pavey, this is Break Magazine, and you're watching Mini Tip Monday. For this week's Mini Tip, we've come into the workshop to talk about handlebar setup. What do you mean handlebar setup? Handlebar setup is surprisingly important when we ride a motorcycle. The rotation of the handlebar in the clamps, forwards and backwards, affects how they sit in our hands and affects how the force we apply to them changes the direction of the motorcycle. However, the handlebar position affects us most when we ride off-road. More specifically, it affects us when we're stood up on the bike. You see, the handlebar position has a direct effect over our balance when we're stood up. You see, your handlebars are one of two key contact points when we ride a motorcycle off-road. It's between them and the foot pegs, so if it's not quite right, it really affects how you find yourself positioned on the bike. When the handlebars are in a less favorable position, it can cause cramping, it can cause hand and wrist pain, but more importantly, it negatively affects your weight distribution of your own body. It, it directly affects your ability to control your body's movement backwards and forwards, and the less balanced you are, the more difficult riding your motorcycle becomes. Standard road riding position has the handlebars rolled backwards a little bit. It's comfy and effective on the road. That position of them being rolled back brings the handlebars a little bit closer to you. They sit really nicely in your hands. The whole thing just works. But when we stand up, everything's a little too far back. The bars are too close to us, forcing our weight back and putting our hands more in our pockets than over the front wheel. All in, that makes it much harder to stand up than it should be, and it makes it much harder to keep our balance in the right place. So if you're a road rider and you only ride on the street, I probably wouldn't change them from standard. They'll be rolled back a little bit from the center position. It's generally about 10 degrees behind what you would call an off-road position and they'll be perfect. But if you're doing somewhere between a little and a lot of off-road riding, we'd always opt to put the handlebars in a more off-road friendly position. It's much easier to ride around the handlebars being a little bit too high on the street than it is for it to be the other way around. Finding the right position with the handlebars is pretty straightforward. First up, we're looking to get the handlebars so they sit flat. When we say flat, we mean we want the tips to be perpendicular to the ground. Now the tip of the handlebar is the point between the bend here and the end of the bar. When that sits flat and perpendicular to the ground that you're on with yourself sat on the bike, we're about right. If you get your handlebars in the position where these tips are higher than this point, it'll cause cramping in the outside of your hands. It puts a lot of pressure where you don't want it. And likewise, if this point of the handlebar is rolled back and they're sat down like your typical road riding position, you'll find yourself much more uncomfortable than you would be with them flat. You'll also find it much harder to keep your balance far enough forward while you're riding. And there you have it. It's pretty much the perfect guide to getting your handlebar position bang on for riding off-road. If you like this video, hit the like button, chuck a comment down below, smash yourself through that subscribe button. There's a new video every single week. Otherwise, guys, remember, life's better when you're riding.